Welcome to an updated guide on King Black Dragon. The last time I did a video over this was back in 2019. So yeah, I am a little due to rework thanks to all the power creep, necromancy, and everything that has been released. First off, it will help to have 98 archaeology so that players have access to the persistent rage relic, which lets you generate adrenaline outside of combat. As for the weapons, the perks will have to be Precise 6, and for the other one, Eruptive 4 with Dragon Slayer, which deals additional 7% damage against King Black Dragon. As for the armor, I will be rocking the 4-piece Nemo outfit, just in case players want to get some agility experience while they are doing this. Dragon Bane 2 8 sword. The Zuck Cape is optional, although I will be doing an action bar with and without the cape. A Luck of the Dwarf, as it does help getting the ornament kits, which is extremely rare. Keep in mind, you are able to upgrade to like Bandos, Torva, Vestimus. The inventory will be very easy. In fact, you'll want the Spring Cleaner, the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard, Potion Reservoirs, Searing Overloads, a Gem Bag, Magical Note Paper, and Super Restores. Expect to use one Super Restore dose every 5 minutes. For the Iron players that do watch my guides, you'll need a Dragon Bane 2H, which does require a Bainite Sword plus 4 and 2 Dragonic Visages. This can easily be gained by killing the King Black Dragon as she drops one on average about every two hours. Now, be able to smith this? Holy moly. It's going to take about 10 minutes going back and forth for whatever reason. This takes a long time. But for people that are interested in making money, this is a viable method as you're able to make six swords per hour. And right now, it's pretty good as a lot of people will be working on a King Black Dragon title or the grind for little collection log purposes. Make your way to the Edgeville Lodestone, and this is going to be a very, very short journey. In fact, it's probably about 15 tiles to the northwest. You want to right click the artifact and do instance. Make sure to reset your spawn timer to fastest. Make your way north. Activate your quick prayers for soul split and term oil. And then you can summon your legendary pet if you would like it to pick up the odd items. But for whatever reason, it does not pick up your dragonic visage, in which case you will want to manually pick that up. Players that do have the Zuck Cape, you will want to put Overpower, Hurricane, Sever, Punish, and then Assault. Doing so should average you between 7.2 seconds up until 10.8 seconds with no aura. While using the equilibrium aura, you will still get the minimum of 7.2 seconds, but your maximum will decrease to 9.6 seconds on average. For whatever reason, with no aura, if it was very, very perfect, in fact, I average about 4 kills on hour, I was getting the 7.2 seconds with no aura. So I did find that pretty interesting. But then again, King Black Dragon has pretty low health. And his defense is like butter. You just go through him completely. But don't worry. If you do not have the Zuck Cape. Instead, you want Hurricane, Sever, Punish, Slice, and then Assault. Pretty much this will work all the time although your kills will be a lot longer in fact if you have no aura expect the kills to be 16.2 seconds up until a maximum of 17.4 seconds if you are using the equilibrium aura your kills do go down a tiny bit to 15 seconds up until a maximum of 16.2 seconds but remember i am using four piece nimble outfit so if you are actually using Bandos or better armor, you can't expect to get quicker kills per hour. It's just I decided to make this as friendly as possible and say, oh yeah, you don't need vestments for this or anything. In which case, I know this is a very easy boss that players might be wanting to choose to get agility experience just because of how AFK this boss can be. 
there is one thing and i really hope that rng is on your side in fact it took me ten thousand four hundred and seventy nine king black dragons until i did get the last piece needed for the title but then again this screenshot is almost five years old so you will most likely be going for the ornament kits which is pretty lucky nowadays because you have that option to do the rampage king black dragon the woody worm and the infernal star i know a lot of people will not be interested in this but the xp rates if you are using the zuck cape you can expect to get almost 223,000 x ray per hour. If you do not have a Zuck Cape, you'll be getting closer to 189,000 x ray per hour. And then both methods work because we're using the same four piece agility outfit. In which case, if players are level 99, you'll be getting the maximum x ray per Silverhawk. And this includes without bonus experience. So per hour, you'll be able to get roughly 74,000 x-ray per hour if you don't include anything else. So it's kind of passive. And again, if it does take you 10,000 King Black Dragon kills, you're looking at almost 100 hours. So that right there is a nice passive agility experience along the way for your grind. And good luck. Thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy. The rest of your day, don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment down below any video suggestions or questions you have, and I will try to answer them. And enjoy the rest of your day.